Hey parents, as we're getting here close to the end of the school year, I know a lot of individuals have been asking lately, you know, what, what kind of comes after the rec program or what competitive programs do you offer here at WCC? And so I want to just kind of cut straight to the chase and give you kind of a layout of the programs that we offer and what they look like. So we have a few options for kids. We have for our girls who've grown up in the gymnastics program in the rec, pro rec side, we have a program called Excel, which our girls gymnastics lead straight into. We also have a program called Acrobatics and Tumbling, which uh, is open up to any girl of any age, and uh, basically they just need to have a standing back game, so we're going to be really close to it. Uh, two other competitive programs we have here at WCC is Tumbling and Trampling, which is open to both boys and girls and competitive boys gymnastics. So in Excel, it is still a competitive program. It is very disciplined the fact that the girls go to all four Olympic events. They work really hard. They're here. The thing is, is that they're here a limited amount of hours in comparison to our JO program. Which, But our Excel kids train six hours a week and our Gold and Platinum kids train 12 hours a week. The next uh, competitive program that we have that I want to talk about is acrobatics and tumbling. Acrobatics and tumbling is relatively new at the club level, maybe four or five years old. And we're in our inaugural season actually here at the gym. Basically what they do is synchronized tumbling, which would be... A few instances like our current group, they do a standing back handspring stick. Then they do a handstand hold, snap down, straddle jump. And then they move, shift to one side of the floor. They do a run, tumble, pass, stick their landings. And then they do a run, tumble, pass back. And then they have other varied heats where they're going to go into group stunts. It's just like you'd see in cheerleading where you have two side bases, a back spot, and a flyer. You have pyramids where you're going to take those group stunts, stick them together and make something bigger, better, stronger. Then you're going to have basket tosses, which is exactly like you'd see in cheer as well, where you have two uh, side bases, grip hands up close, load, and then they toss the girl straight up in the air. Then you also have a short routine as an entire group where they work in those skills that they uh, went head to head on. And basically what they need to move into that is we could take any kid from tumbling, from gymnastics. Basically, if we're just really close to a standing back handspring or better in our tumbling development, we'll be able to bring them in. Our next competitive program that we have is TNT. So that would be power tumbling and trampling. So the first of those is really straightforward. It is a long floor uh, tumbling strip that the kids tumble on, and they get to go hard, they get to go fast, they get to go big. And so that's power tumbling is the first of those three events. Then they have trampolines. So the big white trampolines that we have in the gym, those are above ground when they do competitions, and they do a specific routine based off of their skill ability and level. And then the other thing is a double mini. And so a double mini is a flat a uh, trampoline that has an angled load side on it so the kids run at it similar to vault they'll hit the front side then do a skill skill and dismount off and so we'll be able to get you in touch with uh, coach jeffrey or coach doug and to be able to figure out you know where does your kid fit into this are they interested in tnt do they want to do a trial and so that's a whole nother program to look at for our boys uh, tnt is an option but then we also have boys gymnastics so they hit all six olympic events they're in the gym training and it's a lot of fun for them they get to be strong they get to go big they get to do their flips they get to have fun it's a really great environment for them to be in so the question comes up how do i get there how do we get to team one Biggest thing is focus and practice. Kids got to be diligent. They got to be in tune to what they're doing, taking the corrections that the coaches gives, you know, really being on point when they're doing their drills and their stations. Uh, then you have uh, staying enrolled during the summer. That's one of the, the things I like to harp on and the fact that, you know, when kids take off those couple months, they have a tendency to kind of lose things mentally as far as where they're at. As some of you guys uh, see that when your kids are in school, when they take some time off for the summer, they have to do a little remedial work when they get back to kind of catch them back up and to wake up. Uh, mentally. So I consider that kind of knocking the rust off when they get back. The last thing we have is summer. Uh, during the summer, besides being enrolled, we do offer recreational camps. And our recreational camps of this year are going to be much more skills-based than they have in the past. All the coaches who are going to be working at a rec camp 
have uh, been coaching in the rec program. And so we're going to do the best we can to encourage and push the kids as much as possible in their skill development while still having fun, great time over the summer, still doing all the fun, normal things that they've done with Shasta and Aim in the past. And so we're really looking forward to that. And so if you guys have any questions at all about any of our team programs, any of the camps, anything that's going on, don't hesitate to shoot me an email, zach at wccgym.com, and I will get you a reply or point you in the right direction. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the gym.